Here we said we have a six button grid with three rows and two columns. And so we specified that in the grid layout. And now if I run this one, you can see that I've got this lovely grid of six buttons here, uh, three rows and two columns. And when we had last left yesterday, uh, class, I had given you a small assignment. I had told you to rewrite this code and instead of using individual buttons and individual add statements to rewrite it using a loop and an array. We said that we could replace this code with a loop and that's good to do because if we, instead of having six buttons, if we have 50 buttons, we certainly don't want to write 50 lines of code. So we could create these buttons as well as add them to the frame using a loop. And we said it would be handy to have an array to hold the buttons. Now it's actually possible to do this without an array but it's not a good idea. You should create the array so you can access the buttons later easily. I don't know if you finished this exercise or not, but I'm gonna show you the solution for that as a getting started point for today. And here is the code now to redo that last exercise, but this time, instead of having individual lines of code for each button, you can see that I create the button using a loop. You'll also notice that I've got this I plus one here and this is an important lesson for today. When you present buttons to the user, please make sure you start them numbering at one instead of zero. Yes, the buttons in here are numbered zero through five, but that's because you're a programmer. You're not a normal person anymore. Normal people don't count starting at zero. They start counting from one. And so that's why you need to do this I plus one because the labels for the buttons need to be from one to six, not from zero to five. And once again, we're going to put the buttons into the frame. This time, we're going to use a loop to add the buttons instead of individual lines. And so if I were to run this now, you can see the behavior is identical to the previous version without the loop and the array. Once again, with all of these uh, windows, the user at their choice can grab a corner and can resize the windows any way they want. They can also move the window around. So these are features that you get built into the Swing library.